Today's Bible study is called That We Might Know. One of the main reasons for studying the scripture is to know what God would have you know as a believer. Many believers seem to think that studying the scripture is just too hard or confusing for them to accomplish. Some even ask, what is the point of such study, saying it is enough for them to just trust God. Today's verses address the purpose of provision by God, example, that we might know. But as it is written, I hath not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man, the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. But God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit, for the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man, but the Spirit of God. Now we have received, not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. 1 Corinthians 2 verses 9 to 12 It really pays for believers to look at this a bit. Verse 9 makes knowing the things God has prepared for believers to sound almost impossible. But God didn't stop at verse 9, rather continued in verse 10 that, These things that sound impossible to know, God hath revealed unto us by His Spirit, and this is a past tense, supernaturally revealed knowing. How can this be? It is because verse 12, we have received, past tense, not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of God. And why, at least in part, did God bestow reception of the Spirit which is of God upon us? It is, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. So the Spirit is the one that has revealed the things, and the Spirit is also the one that enables us to know the things that have been revealed. Newsflash, the knowing of the things that are freely given to us of God, is revealed in His Word by His Spirit. And the gateway to knowing is rested simple belief of the truths by grace through faith. And you wonder why non-believers have trouble understanding all of this? Absent the role of the Holy Spirit, only in believers, understanding is truly impossible. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.